Mythology is filled with incredible, powerful, and occasionally unbelievable objects, from Cupid's arrow to the next generation of Microsoft Zune. But some are more powerful than others, and a whole lot more interesting. From a magic dust with life-affirming qualities to an ancient ring capable of controlling the devil, here are the 15 most powerful mythical objects in the world. <laughs> Number 15. The Philosopher's Stone Most people will be familiar with the Philosopher's Stone thanks to J.K. Rowling's classic Harry Potter series of books. But you'll be interested to know that it's very, very real. Although it's not actually a stone, so, like most things in life, it's all a big lie. In Western alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance of some kind, probably a powder, that allegedly holds the power to transform base or common metals into precious ones, such as gold and silver. But if you're an alchemist with no real interest in metal, then here's something just for you. Many believe that the stone holds an elixir that could cure illness, prolong life, and bring about a life-changing spiritual revelation. This explains why so many alchemists spend their whole lives searching for what is, by historical account, some kind of powder that nobody ever seemed to care about. While we don't approve of the misleading use of the word stone, the Philosopher's Stone is a fascinating object that's captivated the alchemy world since the Middle Ages. Sadly, it has yet to be discovered. But if anybody knows a little boy that can drive a flying broom, we might be onto something. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Seal of Solomon the Lord works in mysterious ways, as the phrase often goes, but for King Solomon, he was working in a way that can only be described as, well, brave. The Seal of Solomon is a magical signet ring that was given to the king from heaven and is said to have the power to control Astaroth, the prince of hell. Yeah, God was really taking some risks. The story goes that God himself engraved this unusual ring and sent it directly down to King Solomon, for reasons that I don't think any of us can really grasp. The Seal of Solomon was a brass and iron ring, with a symbol we would now recognize as the Star of David upon it. But it wasn't just used to control those below the earth. Of course, this magical ring also gave Solomon the power to control jinn, or genies as we now know them, as well as talk to the animals. In many ways, King Solomon was the original Dr. Doolittle. But if Dr. Doolittle also had a friend in Satan, which thinking about it, is entirely possible. Nobody knows if the Seal of Solomon does or did exist, and it's likely we'll never really find out. What we do know is that, if it does exist, it's a dangerously powerful tool. I mean, do we really want to talk with ducks? Number 13. The Helm of Darkness I recognize that this is a pretty sinister name for what is basically just an invisibility hat. But you have to understand that we're going all the way back to the time of Greek gods for this one. And if you know anything about Greek gods, they were all about the theatrics. It was actually kind of exhausting. The Helm of Darkness was the chosen weapon of Hades, god of the underworld, and essentially functioned as an invisibility cap. After the Cyclops were freed during the Titanomachy, they began creating weapons for the gods as a show of gratitude. For Hades, they designed the Helm of Darkness, a helmet that prevented the wearer from being seen by just about anybody else. But while we know Hades as the fearsome, sometimes brutal god that he was, he was pretty generous and allowed his fellow gods like Athena and Hermes to wear the helmet during their own battles. All these gods, they're just like us! As one of the most legendary tools in Greek mythology, the Helm of Darkness has been a much sought after artifact for centuries. As yet, nothing has been found, but then it does render the wearer invisible, so we're probably just walking right past it. Number 12. Mjolnir I don't think I have to do much explaining here. In Norse mythology, Mjolnir is a hammer used to perfect home renovations and really get the nails per- Oh, that's a, that's a different one? Okay, this Mjolnir is apparently just some enchanted hammer owned by a big blonde god that looks a little like Fabio. 
It's less interesting, I guess, but okay. In Norse mythology, Mjolnir is the hammer of Thor. The legendary God of Thunder. It's widely believed to be one of the most powerful weapons in all of existence, and there's really nothing that could stand in the way of its sheer force. The hammer was strong enough that it could level mountains if Thor just decided he didn't like mountains, which is entirely possible. Greek gods were, after all, the real housewives of their day. Mjolnir is easily one of the most famous mythological weapons in history. And it's also one of the most popular. Archaeological digs in Norway have turned up hundreds and hundreds of ancient memorabilia in the shape of the legendary hammer. Sadly, the real thing hasn't shown up. But you have the Marvel movies. That's close enough, right? He even looks like Fabio. Number 11. The Book of Thoth for most of us dum-dums, the possibility of getting smart from one book is actually kind of exciting. I think we'd all love to just read once and then be geniuses for the rest of our life. But apparently that's not a thing anymore. However, back in the day of ancient Egyptians, all the dum-dums became smarty genius people. Once a weed uprooted and burned. The Book of Thoth was a legendary, sacred ancient Egyptian book that offered the reader unlimited knowledge. The book was allegedly written by Thoth, the ancient Egyptian god of writing and knowledge, and contained a collection of Egyptian texts that seemed to cover a whole bunch of subjects including medicine, geography, and even temple construction. Like most Egyptian mythology, there's not much known about this apparently legendary book, so nobody actually knows how many texts are contained within. However, one Egyptian historian claims that Thoth wrote 36,525 books during his lifetime, which, if compiled into this book, would be pretty exhausting and hard to read. If only they had audiobooks back then. The book is still one of the most hunted for items by Egyptian enthusiasts, though nothing has been uncovered yet. While some ancient texts have been deemed the real book of Thoth, they don't really have much in them. You couldn't make me a smarty genius out of it. Let's leave it at that. Number 10. The Deathly Hollows well, we never said they were all going to be from our world, did we? The Harry Potter universe from the grave has introduced a lot of powerful mythological objects into everyday knowledge. But there's one, or three, that stands head and shoulders above the others. The Deathly Hollows are three magical objects, the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and a Cloak of Invisibility that, when owned by a single person, grant complete mastery over death. Even in the realms of fictional worlds, it's hard to think of anything more powerful than the combined force of the Deathly Hollows. Only one person has been known to possess all three of the Hollows at once. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. It was thanks to this mysterious and legendarily powerful object that Potter was able to defeat Voldemort and live to tell the tale. While the Deathly Hollows may not exist in our world, J.K. Rowling is pretty well known for taking inspiration from real life. So there may be some kind of similar object out there that we don't even know about. Anything's possible. Number 9. Excalibur Has there ever been a more famous sword than that of King Arthur? Well, actually Excalibur is not just a sword, it's more of a well-rounded weapon capable of inflicting massive damage on whoever is unlucky enough to be on the receiving end. While they're often mistaken to be the same sword, Excalibur was not the one found within the stone, but was gifted to King Arthur by the mystical Lady of the Lake. That single act led Arthur to discover the sheer power of the weapon he now held in his hands, a sword that was apparently powerful enough that it could kill the target with a single blow. That makes this easily the most powerful sword on the entire planet, assuming, of course, that it actually exists. While many understandably believe that the sword is nothing more than a creation of Sir Thomas Mallory, others suspect that there was something real within the story. Could it be that some kind of ancient English nobleman did actually wield a weapon capable of taking on almost 500 men? without a problem? Well, the British are way too polite and modest to admit that, so we're saying yes. Number 8. Flying Dutchman 
There are many, many legends of the sea and those that sail upon her. But the Flying Dutchman is most certainly the most famous of all, a ghost ship cursed to sail forever. It's far from a Disney Cruise Line. Actually, it's not that different from a Disney Cruise Line. Many legends surround the Flying Dutchman, with some claiming that the curse was invoked after a rash gamble convinced the ship's captain to sail during a storm, while others claim that it was caused due to some questionable gambling with the devil. Whatever the story, gambling is clearly the cause of it. Let that be a lesson you remember the next time you head to Las Vegas. The curse inflicted upon the ship forbids it from ever making port, forcing it to continue sailing the oceans forever. There have been many sightings of the Flying Dutchman out on the open waters, as recently as the 20th century. In fact, England's King George V claimed to have seen the Flying Dutchman when he was a young man, describing it as a ship with a strange red light as of a phantom ship all aglow. And since many sailors view a sighting of the Flying Dutchman as an omen of doom, George would likely never go near a Disney Cruise Line if he were here today, just in case. Number 7. The Sintamani Stone most of us have considered the age-old question. If you could wish for something and be guaranteed that it would come true, what would you wish for? The obvious answer, a stone that would fulfill my every wish at all times. Well, your wish has come true. I present the Sintamani Stone. We don't know where it is. In Buddhist and Hindu mythology, the Sintamani Stone is a powerful, wish-fulfilling jewel kind of the eastern equivalent of the Philosopher's Stone. Buddhist legend tells of a fallen star that landed in Tibet and was worshipped by ancient Buddhists as a spiritual jewel. But when its power was deemed to be too dangerous, it was sent to the hidden city of Shambhala, where it likely still exists today, if it exists at all, of course. A good number of modern-day treasure hunters, including Nathan Drake himself, have gone in search of the Sintamani Stone. But those that are real have, sadly, been unsuccessful. Or if they have been successful, they wished to keep it a secret. With something as powerful as the Sintamani Stone, it's probably best that it be kept away from humans. We are, after all, a power-hungry and untrustworthy bunch. I'll just have to wish for my own personal fast food vending machine on my own time, I guess. Number 6. Aladdin's Lamp I imagine most of us would be pretty happy to take ownership of a gaudy gold lamp that contains the somewhat disturbing blue-skinned CG specter of Will Smith. But unfortunately, that's not really an option for us. However, while the lamp may be a fictional creation, it's definitely worth discussing because, man, is it powerful. For those of you that somehow don't know the story, Aladdin is about a self-described street rat named, you guessed it, Carl. I, I uh, mean Aladdin, Aladdin. He somehow gets hold of a magical oil lamp that has at least one genie within that can grant him anything he wishes. And mayhem ensues. Those elements are consistent from version to version, and there are a lot of versions of the story. However, we're here to talk about the lamp, which actually doesn't sound all that impressive. A lamp that can grant powers, wow. But just think about the power contained within. You can get anything you dream of. Some people would cause real damage with that kind of power. KFC's secret recipe would be leaked in a week. While Aladdin's lamp is thankfully a fictional invention, it's likely been inspired by something in Arabian mythology. And I think I speak for everyone when I say I hope it stays hidden. For the Colonel's sake. Number 5. Necronomicon the Necronomicon is probably the most highly disputed book in history. With nobody able to conclusively say whether it's entirely fictional or very, very real. Well, we're here to conclusively prove the facts. And the facts are that we don't know either. When H.P. Lovecraft first wrote about the Necronomicon, he probably had no idea that it would become as notorious as it has. The Necronomicon, or Book of the Dead, is an ancient book of magic containing spells of unimaginable power. Assuming, of course, that you believe in it. The alleged history of the book contains a great number of people who went studying its contents in an effort to master it only to completely vanish without a trace or meet an even more brutal, tragic end. 
I think we can all agree that any book capable of killing the reader is not a great book club selection. Today, there are many Necronomicons available for purchase from bookstores. Although the legend of the book has convinced many to keep their distance, fictional or not, why risk your life on a few chapters of cryptic supernatural fun? Number 4. The Ring of Aegis if you ask people which superpower they'd most like to have, a significant majority of people will say invisibility. Admittedly, that's probably because we're all pretty nosy, and we would like to see the gossip as opposed to hearing it. But it's also likely because mythology is filled with invisible people, or at least people that had the tools to be invisible, such as the Ring of Aegis. In ancient Greek mythology, there's a story about a young shepherd working for the king of Lydia, who discovered a hidden cave during an earthquake. Upon entering, the man found a golden ring on the finger of a corpse, which he obviously stole, because duh, he then found that the ring was capable of making him invisible. So he got a job as a messenger to the king, used his new power to seduce the queen, help her murder the king, and then became king himself. Now that's a real corpse robber to the riches story. The story really highlights the power and dangers that can come from humans discovering the secret to invisibility. While it's fun to imagine us all exploring the world without a care, it's also a very dangerous prospect for several reasons. The biggest being, how many corpses would be robbed to find the ring? Number 3. The Spear of Destiny Okay, so technically, this is known as the Holy Lance, but the Spear of Destiny just sounds so much more interesting, doesn't it? For those of us that perhaps aren't quite so up to date on religious legend, the Holy Lance is the spear that pierced Jesus' side as he hung on the cross. Nice way to uh, treat our Lord and Savior. During Jesus' crucifixion, the Romans came up with a nice, fun way to end the life of possibly the nicest man that ever lived. Not only would they nail him to some wood and let him bleed out, but they also planned to break his legs to quicken the death process. That didn't really happen since Jesus was already dead by that point, so rather than disappoint everyone with no extra torture, they allowed one soldier named Longinus to stab him in the side with a spear, just to check if he's really dead and not playing another practical joke where he stops his heart. Jesus was a joker. The reason that this mythical object is considered to be so incredible is because of what happened after Jesus was stabbed. The blood and water began pouring out of the wound, which led many to suspect that he genuinely was half God and half man. The Spear of Destiny, folks. Number 2. The Infinity Gauntlet We were all around for the great snappening of 2018. Half of all life in the known galaxy tragically vanished to dust right before our eyes. And I should know, according to an online test, I was one of the many that was snapped out of existence, and I look forward to the day that I return in 2023. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, you're probably not a Marvel fan. The Infinity Gauntlet is a big metal glove that holds six Infinity Stones, which are essentially powerful gems, that each control an aspect of existence, space, mind, reality, power, time, and soul. Get all six in the glove, and you can bend the entire universe to your whim. Spoiler alert, the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies Avengers Infinity War, Thanos was able to gain control of all the stones and effectively wipe out half of all living things in the universe to create sustainable balance. Whether he was right or wrong is up to you. But it's fair to say that this was the most powerful weapon in Earth 199,999. That's the Marvel movie universe number. For those of you that have a life, at the time of writing this video, those that tragically vanished are still missing, and have spent their time writing list videos for online content channels like this one. We are inevitable. Number 1. The Holy Grail Easily the most famous mythical object of all time, the Holy Grail is also one of the most valuable. Nobody really knows if the grail was a chalice or a serving dish, but everyone knows Jesus used it during the Last Supper. So that's something, right? While there's no evidence that the Holy Grail actually exists, it's definitely one of the most sought-after artifacts in history. This is, after all, a grail that was used by Jesus Christ, as well as one that once held his blood. I mean, 
just remember how thrilled Indiana Jones was to find it. The Grail is said to have the ability to provide happiness, eternal youth, or infinite sustenance, all of which are much sought after blessings in our modern western world. So it's not all that surprising that it's so desired. Again, there's no real conclusive evidence that the Grail does or has ever actually existed. Although the Da Vinci Code did try to force some cryptic evidence into the world, but that hasn't stopped people going to great lengths in their quest to find it. Which of these objects do you think is most powerful? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!